Kind but of, that is true. I that is true. Of, she was of, very. I kind of want. I kind of find like when I find men that like, and this isn't like a personal thing, but like, ahead. but it's like when I I find that guys that want the strong women tend to come from single mother homes. Not really. I don't like, want to use the word strong. Let's use vigilant. Yeah, but, like, but, but yeah. when they use traits that tend to describe more masculine, it's because they usually had a masculine mom. Hey, hey, you know what, Pearl? Actually, yeah. you know, I have a theory. It's like you know, Deion Sanders. I think his father wasn't there. His uncle wasn't really there. And he's just this amazing father. He's an amazing family man. So, you know, with me, I grew up with a single mother who was very strong. And, you know. And he married his whole now. Well, yeah, well, hold on. Well, my, well, well, my, well, my, well, my, my wife it gives me something I never had. Mm. And, yeah. and my mom was very loving to me. It almost seemed like it might have been a chore for my mom to love me, man. Mm. She, she didn't mm. have that warm, warm love towards me. So, you know what I did? Hold, hold on. You know what I did? I picked a wife mm. that by disposition. Is very warm, cuddly, friendly, mm. yeah, mm. patient. Just the nicest, mm. sweetest woman. I've one of the nicest, sweetest women I've ever met. And you know what? You know what she does for my daughter? She'll wake up at three, five, six. It doesn't matter. She is an outstanding mother and extremely warm to my daughter. And I just want to say something to you, man. I can buy a lot of things mm. as a high net worth individual, but I can't buy a warm, loving mother from my daughter. You know, and that's the one thing I can't buy. So that's what I got from my daughter. It's crazy that you say that because. That's literally the one thing my mother said to me when she when when I started growing up. She said, "I wish I hugged you more." Mm. You know, she said she literally looked at That's me. She's like, man. "I wish I hugged you more." My mom never said that to me. But she probably got that from her mother. It's normally yeah. generational. My, her mother, well, there, there's, 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 yeah, she said that. Yeah, she, you know, and I and I was just like, yeah, but I but I how I got old, the point. How old's your mom? Young, like I don't know. She's about to be 50, 49, 48, yeah, yeah, around that age. The, that's like the age. That's what I call like the age of uh, shitty wives, yeah. to be honest. It's like 40 to 60 because it's like they either like fucked up. They either got divorced, had a kid out of wedlock. Like they, no, she the was married. That, My mother was married. That, she had a, She just had it at a very young age. She got married. Like a, she she d got divorced though, right? No, she's oh. actually, she's still married. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. I t oh, I totally thought you said divorced. No, I, they're I just not together, you. but she's still married. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, but they're, okay, but they're not. Yeah. They're not. Yeah. Okay, so. Why'd you? What was the point it, of that? It, I'm like, just saying. Okay, okay, so they're, they're not together. Okay, yeah. so, but uh, like the technicality. All right, yeah, so yeah, yeah. 40, 40 to 60, like it's the, the generation I call like shitty wives because the 60 to 80 year olds told their daughters to always have a backup plan, go to work. 40 to 60, they tended to, that they were the ones that got divorced. They were the ones that, um, had the careers and like were kind of the more masculine ones because they had the wrong information from their moms. That's just kind of what I found. I have, yeah. I have yeah. a question though. What is, what is this obsession with the Western world and this uh, um, we, uh, we need we need hugs and cuddles and 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 all these it's, uh, it's unfettered love. love from our parents. King grew up in Nigeria. What, what yeah. that? <laughs> like life is tough. Your parents go through a lot to provide for you to make sure you don't die, to make sure you literally survive. And then people grow up and they're complaining, oh, my mom didn't hug me. Like, <laughs> like what the hell is that? Nah, no, I, nah, I agree. Nah, King, you know what? It's important. I think African and, and Middle Eastern culture do have some similarities, especially in particular because of Islam. So as a Middle Eastern man, my father was Iranian, my, my mother's Jewish. But my, my father built the toughness in me. Yeah. And I think that a lot of Middle Eastern fathers have that in common with African fathers. This, and I say that respectfully. And, and one last thing. I live in a German village, basically. Wow, in a German city. And in the German city that I live, almost uh, the little village that we are, so many people are happily married. And so many people live long lives. It's a simple mm. lifestyle. Yeah. When you come to these big cities, you see this mm. ratchetness, this, 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 this gutterness. Coming. And the response it's, to King as a coming. Westerner. But wait, it's coming. As a Westerner. Wait. Okay. It's coming. The it doesn't really matter. All the I get messages from people in the country and some some places I would say are twenty years behind. But if you look at birth rates, promiscuity rates, it's all mm. spreading. Do you know